For some mathematical processes, it is useful to assign values to variables, and then use them to evaluate expressions like the discriminant of this quadratic function. This can be done using the Calculate app of a Casio FX8200AU. Open from the home screen by pressing OK or Execute. To access the 8200's variables, press the variable key. Enter 3 and press Execute to assign this value to A. Any existing value assigned to A will be overwritten. Arrow right and assign negative 2 over 3 to B using the fraction key and finishing with OK or Execute. Arrow right once more and assign 1 ninth to C in a similar fashion. With this done, press the back key to exit the variables editor. The discriminant formula b squared take 4ac can now be evaluated using these assigned values of a, b and c. Enter the discriminant using the blue shift key and then the 4, 5 and 6 keys to enter a, b and c. Once b squared take 4ac has been entered, press execute or OK to see its value in this case, negative 8 over 9. So the discriminant of f of x is negative, meaning that it has no real zeros. To find out about the roots of g of x, we need to edit the value of c. Press the variable key to reopen the variable editor. Arrow down and overtype the new value of c being negative 1 over 9. Once this assignment has been executed, press back. Now press execute to recalculate the discriminant. This time it is greater than 0, meaning that g of x has two distinct real zeros. To find these zeros, I'm going to enter the quadratic formula in terms of a, b and c values, starting with the fraction key. I won't be able to enter the plus or minus, so I will start with the plus solution by entering negative b plus the square root of b squared take 4ac all over 2a. Pressing execute or OK, we see the larger of these two zeros is one third. To find the smaller of the zeros, we can edit the expression entered and change the plus to a minus. This can be done using the arrow keys to navigate and the delete key as required. The smaller of the zeros is negative one ninth and we are done. The values of a, b and c that have been entered will remain, even after the calculator has been turned off, but can always be overwritten as required.